Yeah, you said that, well, I couldn't do it. No, no, you didn't. He said I could. That's right. <laughs> I had to, had to encourage you a little yeah. bit, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. That looks like, what, about four foot tall or? Uh, five, it's five foot. Five foot. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Yes, sir. Yeah, we like Mountain Dew around here. I know that. Yeah. And well, there's a camel. I think I need to put some uh, shadow underneath this here also. Do you know where that one's going, Ricky? That's no. sold on this one. Yeah. Delivered no, I don't. Easter. It was one of the customers you were working with, and you forgot to call him back, but he's been calling me, so I said, I'll make you a door, see what it looks like. If it looks good, we'll ship it on out to you. He's out west of the Mississippi. But I've actually got to trade it traded in toward that 1923 Chevy truck sitting behind it in the pictures there. It's a little rough, but it is a 23. That's a 100-year-old Chevy one-ton delivery truck. So you're going to take this and trade on the truck, you think? Correct. Easter weekend. How about that? That's a big trip. Where is that? <laughs> Kansas? No, you said... Uh... West of the Mississippi. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you got another door here to paint on. Looks like you got, you got something going on this one. Trade to Tiffany for sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to just chalk it and see, you know, give the people an idea how I can just chalk it, you know, real quick like. No. Now what's this right here? You gonna use this to draw? Is this something you're gonna yeah, use? Yeah, that's gonna. I'm gonna turn that into a bologna sandwich instead of a cheeseburger. A bologna sandwich. You yeah, gonna, gonna paint turn, a bologna sandwich? Yeah, I'm gonna. About I, that? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it into. it. Yep. And I also uh, re, uh, do uh, restore plates also. Yeah. Okay, so what would it look yeah. like this? From that thing to this. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Signs done right. We'll renew your old license plate. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Uh, now we got some good people in Knoxville, uh, Tennis, Tennessee, that's helping us on some sign paint. And, uh, and uh, I, I believe they're uh, going to help us, you know, quite, uh, pretty good. That's an advertisement out of a newspaper uh, for their paint company out of a 1964 newspaper in Knoxville. And they've been uh, family owned since 1953. Yeah. So you're starting to use their paint now to paint yep. with? Yeah, they got good quality paint, a uh, uh, sign paint like Ro Ronan and, and uh, One Shot. What about that? Yep, yep. And this is a, a, a sort of a counterfeit uh, a Coke, Coca Cola, you know. You painted that on Yeah, yeah on, a, on a locker, yeah. How about that? Yeah, Rick but. Ricky did that for me years ago, and it's just a garage art, which, you know, you can, if you got some imagination and an old piece of metal, a cabinet, you can get it uh, tuned up. And then yeah. Ricky's got his uh, work detail up top there. If you'll notice, he painted that. And uh, you got to drop down and see the valve cover. He, of course, didn't look at the paper right, and he put hump day on the bottom. Hump day should have been on the top because yeah. it's hump day. Yeah. Well, I can tell when you got a nice uh, slick surface, you can move with it a lot faster, oh, yeah. can't you? Yeah, yeah. The, the door ain't got to change. <laughs> okay, now this is cheese, bread. And then we got a tomato, tomato. Then we got we got to have some onions because onions what makes a sandwich. We got, we got pickles, but that won't show. And right here is the bologna, big thick bologna, and right here is another piece of bread. There's a piece of bread. We, we can do the bread that give it that texture. Look, bread that look like bread. See that? See that? And down here be uh, bread also. Brown, brown. There we go. Brown bread. There you go. Now that's a sandwich. Now how about that? Now we got to mix some colors. We got to mix them colors. Bologna, bologna. Okay, Let's see him. Just a hint. Is that more like bologna color? Kind of pinkish. I don't know. You think we? Uh we could ask uh, Jumpman to taste it, see if it tastes like bologna. Yeah, I believe he'll like it. I think he will like it. Yeah, that's, that's bologna, ain't it? There you got it. How about that? 
And here I am cutter blind. That's all right. Now let's go with some red tomatoes, folks. There ain't nothing like garden tomatoes. And yum me, yum yum. Garden tomatoes. Ripe. See now we go to tomatoes right here. Then we do the cheese next. And here you are wording yourself sick that you could, could do it or not. Okay, that's a tomato. Look at them dudes. Nice. Okay. Okay, now let's go with cheese. Clean our brush. Yeah, I'm glad all the, you, you folks watching, you know, worldwide, you know, United States and the, over, overseas. I ain't seen anybody from Japan yet. Uh, maybe they, they'll say hello. All comments are is welcome. Well, that cheese, that's that paint. See now, that paint is getting old, but it works. Okay, now cheese. See now, our bread we take a, a, a brown and yellow brown and yellow and white will give us our bread. There you go. Now how about that cheese? Now, yep, we're in yourself sick. There we go. Now let me see here. Bologna. Well, we need the, the onions. Now let's say uh, an onion, two slices. Usually the onion ain't that white, but I guess it'll work as an onion. I might put just a hint of yellow in it for onion. Two big slices. Yep, sir. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit of yellow. Okay. Yeah, there you go. To give it kind of texture onion detail is everything even though it's kind of quick yeah see that now we did let's do the uh, the bread we'll go kind of a whitish color for bread all right white for bread with the hint of yellow too much yellow well, maybe not Yeah, there you go. That's the white part of the bread. See now, paint with my. How about that? Paint with your, paint with your hand in your pocket. Now, who knows? That sandwich there might be fit for a king. Yes, sir. Let's see here, down here, get that bread. Cause we can't go pure white on hardly nothing, oh, except for snow maybe. So we gotta have snow. Now let's get brown, sort of tan, tan color. Yes, I'd like to have my own video, but I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Like Bob Ross. Black, here we go. Black will make brown. Red, red, red and black makes brown. Okay, now in yellow gives it a give it more of a brown tan color. Okay. Now that ain't green, is it? I mean, it's still brown, ain't it? I'm yep. kind of colorblind. <laughs> oh. See that? It's almost face the tip, and you can fix one. Almost.
you that. What do you? Oh, it's running. Okay, I'm glad we can fix that. See what well, we're doing it real fast, and that ain't giving the paint time to. See now, what color is that? That's the baloney part. Okay. Uh -huh. The baloney part. Looks like you can do that right there and get it taken care of. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Get old baloney. Yep. Okay. Now I, I, I get my brush and and, and uh, wipe wipe it some more. Yeah. What? Look what a mess. <laughs> Just a little highlight, it won't hurt nothing on the baloney. Just go ahead and do it all the way across like that. That kind of, there you go. That kind of give you a little texture to it. Yeah, all right. There you go. The actually, if it was dry and it's not dry enough, you actually could put a little bit of black to show black in it, but it's too wet to do it right now. You couldn't do that. A little black could show that fried and, and also the, I, it might if I uh, make the black kind of thick, you know, uh, not, not real thin. Just kind of edge it, edge it on. We'll edge it. Okay, okay. We're, yeah, we'll do it real careful, real thin. Yeah, I'm one. One thing I don't I don't care if everybody's watching, you know, it don't bother me. If I make a mistake, I made one, you know, it, it is what it is. And what about you want it to... Uh, At the top of it there, it'd be kind of fried, it'd be you know, right there on the baloney. You know how they do the baloney, it's fried in the yeah. pan, it's a little blackened on the top and the bottom, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like and then do your little bottom line like what that. What about your tomatoes? Yeah. Sort of divide your tomatoes. Now you, you beautiful onions, yummy. Okay. Now what? Just a, a little black line along the bottom, right there. Right. I give you. We'll do. I give you charcoal. Yes, sir. Or what do you call it? Yeah, charcoal. That sounds good. I like burnt bologna. Burnt bologna. There you go. I like it myself. Oh, what about the cheese? Give the cheese just a little bit more melting, not a whole lot. Does that look alright? Do you a little cut right there, just a hair, just a little, little hair tiny line. bit. Just a little hair line. Yeah, like there that. you go. Now you said that well, I couldn't do it. No, no, you didn't. You said I could. <laughs> That's right. I had to had to encourage you a little yeah. bit, didn't I? <laughs> And Tiffany over at the RM Brooks store, when we were over there in November, on that nice fall day, and you had your world famous bologna sandwich, you kept yelling to everybody, I wish I had a bell to ring. Well, I'm going to give you this bell. This is my mother's schoolhouse bell from Southern Illinois. She was a school teacher in the middle 1930s in Southern Illinois. But I'm going to gift this to you, Tiffany. So here's your bell. You gotta come get it, or I'll bring it over next time I come, or send it with Ricky. Hope you enjoy it. And Ricky and I want to thank you girls down at the bank for helping us open up our checking account. And uh, don't worry, when we're there, we'll always bring more candy. No problem. Tell me if you know what that is and whose car that is in the front. That's a 1960 Chevy yeah. two-door post. Yeah. And you had one of them when I first met you yeah. in 2001. Right. And you were trying to sell it to me. It was parked in your backyard. Right, yeah. Now, do you know where the picture's taken? At Pig State Park. No. Where? The picture's taken at the old Jordan restaurant before it burned down. Well, by George, it is. I forgot all about that. Yeah. And see, this is 127 right yeah. in the front here. Yeah. And I, I saw that picture and I says, now I wonder if that's Monday's 60 Chevy. Yeah. Yeah. He's parked there at the yeah. restaurant. That yeah. was probably you hanging yeah. out at the restaurant. Yeah, that is, but it sure is. Yeah. And I, and guy, guy, uh, guy Jordan built that uh, yeah. restaurant there yeah. in that motel. Now, you know what I found out of, during the meet and greet over here at Tiffany's yeah. at rugby store in uh, January? Yeah. That Ricky's 
sister worked in that restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Benny, her husband, his family owned that restaurant. Yeah. So that's where they met. Yeah. They met there. She was working there. He owned the place, and they ended up getting married, and they're still married today. Oh, yeah. And it's probably 40, 50 years later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's quite a story in its own. Yeah, yeah, and I just happened good. in conversation to find that out from them. And I told him, I said, hey, Benny, you wouldn't happen to have any old pictures of the Jordan Motel when it still had the restaurant before it burned down. He says, I might be able to find you one. Lasted a couple of weeks, and I, I called him, and I says, hey, you know, did you ever find that picture? Well, we'll get on it. And then within a couple of days, they sent me that picture there. Here's another picture of the restaurant. It's got a, uh, looks like a 56 Ford wagon out front, but yeah. probably taken in the same time frame. Yeah, yeah. A little bit blurrier, but, yeah. uh, and uh, they said they could probably come up with some better pictures of the restaurant for me, to Ricky to work off of, but yeah. that would be a piece of history out of the past. Yeah. That's going to be reproduced right. from a picture yeah. of Jamestown like it was back in the right. 50s yeah. and 60s. Looks like you already been painting on this one some. You got national record holder. Yeah. GT Zoom. What's that mean? Do you know? Mm, maybe the the performance of it. Uh, you know, it's a high performance uh, Mustang. But everything you paint is not small. NG Mustang, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now what about this black? I don't know. What do you think? Black or red? Who's 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 is this for? Nobody. It's just 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 this this we're just showing about paint. Uh, since you got your red mixed out, I'd go ahead okay. and do red. All I guess. right. We, Mustang Sally. That that's a real popular song. S A L L Y. Yeah, that's a real popular song. Yes, sir. Oh, that's, yep. I think I got it all spelled correctly. Let's see now, let me see here. I don't want to mess it up. Mm. There you go, folks. Okay, uh, uh, this is a tar that was used during World War II because there, there was a r rubber shortage and they had to make use with what, what they had so uh, they even put a tar inside another tar to just get more mileage out, out of the thing. It was a times of real hard and there was a war going on and, uh, and they, they, they had to make, make do with what, what they had. Did you so, paint this sign right here about it? Yes, sir, I did. Double tire from old days. After World War II, people put one junk tire inside of another tire and drove to town. I guess if this tire didn't hold iron no more, yeah. or just about shot, they put another tire in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, they got back and forth to town, maybe about once a month, uh, back the way they used to when we'll buy groceries. Let's go to town once a month. So uh, they got there and back with, with what they had to. Do, uh, do with. Yep. That's a good one. It's a piece of history there. Yep, yep. Ricky is going to be selling some of the pencil drawings he's done over the years. Uh, he's done a lot of pencil drawings and we're getting them printed and he's going to sell them in uh, sets of 10 and he's got his first bunch of them ready to go. Uh, 10 drawings. There's four of local schools here in Fentress County, three of a local junkyard. Uh, there's Don Garlitz in there. There's a Shell station downtown, Holt Auto Sales, and uh, they'll all be in the first set of 10. He's going to sell them at $34, and that includes uh, mailing and a regular brown envelope. They'll get to your house, and he's showed you where his mailbox is. Just send a check to that mailbox, and uh, he'll send you the prints right out. You'll get them within a couple weeks. He's also done two brand new drawings, one of the RM Brooks store in Rugby, Tennessee, how it looked in the 1950s, and that's a, it's an original drawing. It will be signed by him, original and numbered. 
He's also done the Jordan Motel neon sign. He left out the word neon on the sign there, but it's the Jordan Motel neon sign that's here in Jamestown. It was restored in 2022, and that will also be available same way, $34. Uh, mailing, handling, everything. Check to Ricky Wright, 1124 Roanoke Road, Jamestown, Tennessee, 38556. So helping Ricky promote his work a little bit here. He didn't think it could be done, but I think it can be accomplished. So anybody would like to get some art on the wall, send your checks in. So this is old school. No, no, nothing on the internet, no credit card, just send a, a if I don't have a personal check, I can get a cashier check, money order. Correct. Yeah, money order, whatever you want to. to. Correct. Ricky yep. Ryan. That's going to yep. Ricky. And on the numbered prints, what we're going to do is when the check gets in the mailbox, that's the number of the print you're going to end up getting. If you're the 45th guy with your check in there, you'll get number 55 because the first 10 were given to family members here. So I know there's going to be a lot of people interested in the Brooks uh, painting, the drawing. What, where's it at? I saw it here a little while ago. We didn't get a picture of that one. It's over here in the corner. Hand it to me, Ricky. Those two right there. Is, is, is the both of them, Ricky. Done or is he still working? No, these no. are both done. They're ready to roll. Ready to, okay, you got them. Oh, and, I see it. Uh, and everything is going to be, just so you know, it's going to be on an 8.5 by 14, so it's mailable. This is the Brooks store. Ricky, you want to talk about it? Yes, uh, this is the one that uh, in November, I, I, I was drawing it starting out in, in the video in, in November at the Brooks store. Uh, John Finn was filming me start out uh, from, from, from a white piece of paper to, to there. Uh, uh, Mr. Brooks, he, he helped me up with the trucks and, and the, this side of the building here because see, this part's gone now. And uh, yeah, it turned out okay, I believe. Okay, so this one will be ready to go here in a few days. Uh, you got to get these probably, they're dolled. You just got to get some printings done. Correct. And then, like you say, Ricky will hand sign them, blue ink, and number them. Uh, first run is going to be 500 So $34 includes the shipping and the tax and everything, just a straight $34. Correct. Eight and a half by 14. You can go down to your local five and dime store and buy a frame for it for probably $6. And he's also done the Jordan Motel. Neon sign, the way it was restored last year, the original sign said restaurant on the bottom, like in that picture you saw earlier uh, when Monday was looking at the picture of the old Jordan Motel and Restaurant. But when they restored it, since the restaurant is gone, they have put established 1953. And this also will be same way, signed, blue ink, numbered, set of 500, and uh, comes to you in the mail. These 10 over here is not going to be signed in numbers. You're going to get 10 prints for $34 on this selection. These are things that he's done over the years. Correct. Now, eight of those are a printed signed signature. Two of them he never finished in the junkyard, and they're not signed. But the other uh, eight are, and the people also get the uh, the big fish. That's for me. That's a gift. Just uh, thanks for uh, doing business with us, and uh, we appreciate your business. So they get 11 pictures for $34, but they're not hand signed and numbered like these other two are going to be. Correct. These other new two are new ones, and that's the way he's doing those, yes. All righty. Well, I'm sure people are going to want some. I hope so, yep. That shadowing makes it pop out, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Makes it pop out real good, yep. Okay, folks, I, I'm glad you all watched the video, and we got prints to, to sell. And uh, if you want any of the prints, uh, right right here is the address to, to send the checks to. And to make the check out to who, junk man? Ricky Wright, just Ricky like it Wright. said on the other sign there. Okay. Ricky and we'll Wright. get it in the bank and get the prints right to you. No problem. Yes, that's right. So, folks, we will see you next time. Right, yeah, Ricky? Yeah. Next time, yes. Bye-bye. Same channel next time. Okay.